adopted kids, this is the story of how I circulated through the body system and met the blood cell of my life. I was born from the red bone marrow. Well, most of us blood cells are born from the red bone marrow. I was in the right atrium because, well, I carried no oxygen or glucose, just carbon dioxide. I got pushed through the valve where I almost bumped into the septum of the heart and into the right ventricle where I went into the pulmonary artery. To the lungs and I got rid of the carbon dioxide I was carrying in the capillaries. In exchange, I got oxygen in return. Yay, oxygen. I then left the lungs. Through the pulmonary vein and got into the left atrium. Once again, I was pushed through the valves, into the left ventricle, and finally into the aorta and to the body. Here I am in the bloodstream. On the way, I picked up glucose, which I got from the bloodstream, carrying glucose from the stomach other blood cells but they didn't say much here we are a bunch of blood cells floating around in plasma and yet we didn't say a single word to each other there are also others that weren't blood cells i met a group of platelets once they're pretty creepy looking they're always rushing to the site of an open wound they didn't say much either i met this white blood cell named bjorni once he was a pretty cool guy but he was always too busy fighting off sickness with his other white blood cell buddies. Bjorni was always so busy, I was always quite alone. I saw this other blood cell once though, she was beautiful. I was going to talk to her, but then she disappeared into a different artery. It was then where I realized how lonely I was. So I just did my job. I traveled through the artery, giving the blood cells oxygen and glucose via capillaries while I got carbon dioxide in return. I was quite depressed. I got into a vein and I finally got back to where I first started, the right atrium of the heart. I entered through the inferior vena cava and that was where I saw her again. She entered from the superior vena cava, and then I was able to talk to her. From that point on, we never left each other's side. We found you guys later on, floating around, and then we adopted you. And that was how I circulated through the body and met the blood cell of my life.